Book of Tupac. Oh, I kind of want to do a Coolio Yoda. That'd be awesome. Like, could you imagine a uh, uh, gangster Yoda with like uh, the crazy hair? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With the Coolio yeah. dreads, not dreads, but the crazy hair stuff. They are dreads. Uh, Mmm. Gangster I am. Mm, yeah. Alright, see ya, Mercy. Bye, Mercy. Uh, let's see. Pencil. Going back. Mercy, slap Joe next time you see him. Indeed. Yep. Tell it was from us. <laughs> exactly. Alright, let's see. I'll leave it to your discretion on where you slap him. So. S slap them Slapping cheeks. Slap them cheeks. Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. So Yoda's kind of like. Let's get this. He's got a nose here. He's got this going on. Like that. Okay. Yoda's first name was never mentioned because George Lucas wanted to leave him with just one name to enhance the mystery that surrounds him. There are theories that his first name is Minch. However, Minch is another Jedi who is the same species as Yoda. Mm -hmm. What says that he has to have multiple names? Hey man, I'm just going with George, what George Lucas said in an interview, I guess. I don't know. And then these fact site things. Yoda's, his species still doesn't have a name, does it? It's just humanoid, humanoid species or something like that. I think that's what the uh, wiki says. Uh, that goes into number four. Yoda species were never explained or given a name. The most famous members of Yoda's species were Baby Yoda, Minch, Oteg, Vandar, uh, Toker, y uh, Yaddle, and of course Yoda himself. Yaddle, yaddle. Then you waddle away. Yaddle, yaddle. And you waddle away. Yoda was born in 896 uh, BBY. Uh, BBY stands for Before the Battle of Yar uh, Yavin. Oh, okay. I always wonder what that stood for. And then died in 4 ABY after the Battle of Yavin. This made Yoda 900 years old. Hmm. Mmm! Old I am. Yoda is 66 centimeters tall and 17 kilograms in weight. Trained by Jedi Master Inkata Del Gormo. Uh huh. All right. All right. Now we got to gangster him up a little bit. Yeah. I think we got a nice base for Yoda here. This looks like a pretty solid Yoda. Is he gonna have a few teardrops? Please don't. No. We're gonna do a classic Tupac move and put the bandana thing on his head. Okay. Tupac Shakur. No, oh, I'm talking about Falco. Oh, Yoda is that. one of the few Jedi and Sith who kept his robe on during combat. Oh. Can you bring it up to like this? Dude, do you remember watching, um, even though it was bad, um, The Phantom Menace? No. 
um, the second one, the clone attack of the clones. Yeah. When yeah. Jedi, uh, when uh, Yoda just fucking went ham, dude. Do you remember oh, yeah, that dude. and how fucking ridiculously awesome that was? Oh man, the the theater I was at when that happened. I mean, most of the audience just stood up, you know, screaming for that one. I mean, you had to, right? If you didn't, there was something wrong with you. Going along with that, Yoda was a master of lightsaber combat. He was one of the greatest duelists of all time. Really? And Yoda used a cane to help him walk in his later life. Although, he was capable of throwing it aside and moving quickly while using the force. Star Wars fact, but it's something to do with Yoda. Um, there is a worm discovered 1.5 miles beneath the Atlantic in 2012. It has been named after Yoda. It has large lips on the side of its head, which reminded them of Yoda's ears. The worm is called Yoda per perperata. Okay. Kind of weird. Alright, uh, here, here's an interesting one considering some of the other uh, things that we've drawn on the channel. Uh, so, Yoda species is of course shrouded in mystery with only sparring information available on what the creature is and where he comes from. Star Wars creator George Lucas has always been coy when it comes to revealing information about the alien race. Once joking that Yoda is simply the illegitimate love child of Kermit and Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember hearing that before that's probably not canon though yeah i'm pretty that's sure it's not. <laughs> maybe maybe uh kermit was the first jedi and you know could be he was working for a galaxy far far away before we even knew it exactly i don't know guys I... yoda's eye color is green is it yeah it's hard to it tell it on the facts it's hard to tell in these images, they look pretty brown, but they're probably dark green. This image that I'm looking at right now, his eyes are like a brown color. And this is a sideshow collectible, so it's got to be accurate for $700. Here's a still image from, uh, yeah, it's pretty dark green. It's like an olive green. The other picture just looked brown, and it was just a bad angle or something. Or just someone just taking what they thought. Let's see, we gotta... This is just pencil. I haven't even started doing any of the inks crap. Miss Piggy was definitely the first hit. <laughs> <laughs> I could get behind that. I just have a feeling that Yoda's, you know, looking back, uh doing a uh, rap battle with uh, Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> you know, I drop, I will, yes. Mm. What were Yoda's last words? And it was a there is another. There is another. No. His last words were, shut up, I'm trying to go to sleep. I don't know what his last words you were. Yoda's last words were Luke there's another Skywalker talking to Luke Skywalker there's another Skywalker those were his last yeah. words yeah hmm alright pencil is perfect you say we still got 30 minutes to kill we gotta put this in ink have to but I mean I could just go under it with marker and add some gray come on man stop bullshit get underneath there let's get in there with that marker where'd that marker go and just do a really light gray since we got pencil
I'm not gonna lie, guys. I, I kind of am digging this drawing a lot. I feel like I've seen this Yoda drawn this way with the bandana, the Tupac bandana before. Mm -hmm. um, but I've never drawn it myself, and I'm kind of glad I did. Good suggestion, Mel. I think there's like this uh, tattoo artist that I follow on Instagram that he does this as a tattoo. I think his name's Chase Tafoya. So if you want to check him out on Instagram, that is his name. He's a really good uh, tattoo artist. I would really like to get another tattoo. I have an idea for a tattoo. I just uh, am too late. What color should his bandana be? What color was his lightsaber? Green, right? Green. Mm -hmm. Green. Mm. Is that too so on the I, nose? I personally say we go Santa. Red and green colors. Well, I'm not going to put any other colors besides gray, and that's it. Okay. So red? Or you, you could, yo, know, he, he could be having uh, the bandana for his uh, fallen Omi Mace and uh, make it purple. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see. If, if purple goes good with this black and gray, I don't know if it will. For his fallen homie. to pick up the oops that's too much not to pick up the marker because then we'll get the uh, weird dark spots that we're trying to avoid all right now we can get some of those dark spots in there the green in his eyes at least let's do that and then we'll go over with white a little dot of white in there oh no white doesn't show up we'll just do an eraser then eraser always makes things better uh, let's go back to this and add some more wrinkles to his face So there's kind of like an indention down here. Oh, that's too dark. It's too dark. You're too dark. Let's go back to the pencil. Flat side of the pencil for the win. Yoda's appearance was oh. mainly based on his, uh, on his makeup artist creator, uh, Stuart Freeborn, but he would, uh, he made a few tweaks in an attempt to make the audience subconsciously view him as intelligent and as intelligent and wise. 
the character's upper lip was modeled up, uh, on Einstein's minus the mustache. Huh. I did not know that, and I learned something today. Yeah. I thought the dogs laid eggs. Dude, this looks dope. The bandana color is not very Tupac Mill, but I think it's fine. We're not trying. We're not trying to get into a gang war over here. You know what I'm saying? Don't bandanas have like decorations on them or whatever? Like little things. Oh, that's in white. Okay. I'm gonna have to get in there with the eraser then. Part, kind of setting it off if you ask me mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go back to this go in there with the eraser skin this eraser up a little bit make sure the white pops underneath looks like a bandana now, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see. How can we make this more more gangster? Yeah, it says, in my mind, it's war. It's always a war. We'll say... Life thug. How about that? <laughs> I mean, it's thematic, isn't it? <sighs> Cheers, everybody. This is a dope picture. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, there's words in his song. Their eyes on, on me, they are all. They all are. <laughs> How's this look without the. You can just see, like, gray now. It's kind of cool still. Mm. All right. Uh, is there another drawing that people want Rob to draw? That's going to wrap things up for us here in the CR Game Room. Check out our website, crgr.rocks, for all our latest info. There you'll find a link to help support us via Patreon. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Join our conversations on Discord. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for hanging out. <laughs>